year because the Big Ten is going to change a lot in the next couple of years. Is this this is going to be a weird question? I don't know if I'm going to phrase it right because I look. You know, you guys know how much I cover Iowa and how much I you know how say Iowa love I Iowa. Much. I thank you, um, but I I really do I really do believe that once you get rid of the divisions, Iowa's done. I was I will not play for a Big Ten championship again. I, I really do believe that. What? How? How tough does it get for Nebraska after this year when they when it gets rid of the divisions? Yeah, that's a good question, and I don't know that it's one that people in Nebraska have given a lot of thought to. You, you better because it's it's it, this whole thing's changing. Yeah, I th- and, and the reason I say that is because I think they that Nebraska has been so focused right now on getting this right with this you know through the coaching search. And then the transition and the hire of the staff and fixing recruiting and fixing, you know, these underlying culture issues and getting the team to, you know, all be one. And now you got to shape the roster. There's a lot going on. In Iowa, at least you don't have to deal with those True. things. They've got their own set of issues. Yes, they do. <laughs> but they haven't been dealing with all that stuff. Yeah. So they can maybe think about, hey, what's life in the Big Ten going to be like in 2024 when there aren't divisions? And only the top two teams get to the championship game every year. The thing is, I don't know that you necessarily have to get to the championship game to be the factor that you want to be on the national landscape. The Big Ten is, in some years, in every year, I think, going to get three to four four teams in the 12-team college football playoff. So just because you don't finish number two and play for the championship doesn't mean your, fair. your season's down the toilet. That's fair. That's if they get four. Or even three, right? I mean, it depends. Yeah, but on- we've 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 had this discussion before. I mean, that was the the great thing about the Big Ten and the SEC, and why you look at the Big Twelve and you're like, God, feel bad for those guys. But I think I think we're going to see something seismic again. I, I think if the Big Twelve captures Colorado, Utah, Arizona, Arizona State, Florida State, and Clemson are going to have to go somewhere. They cannot hold off till. 2036 money wise they will they will die i you know i could see the acc surviving in this but the bottom line is there's going to be power power conferences and there's going to be yeah those guys are their their conference champion just going to get in but that's going to be it i mean if you mitch this is a weird question because i don't think i don't think it's not you can think anything do we go to like two leagues like the NFL. Yes. I, I I mean, think about it. I mean, just because if, if the Big 12 takes those four, then what happens to Oregon, Cal? Well, I mean, it, we had, you and I had a discussion about what happens if you have a, and I don't remember the exact numbers, but you have a college football playoff division. Like instead of, Instead of F, FBS, FCS, D2, D3, NAIA, you have CFP, D1, D2, D3, NAIA. Is this like a fluid kind of situation, like where you can move up and It's down. almost like regulation, right? I well, mean, we, ta- we, we talked about that as a possibility, but I mean, we, we talked about the idea that you could potentially have a CFP division that's playing for the college football playoff or national championship every year. Like 32 teams? Yeah, like it's it's 32 or 64 or 40, whatever number, however you want to work it. But there's this limited number that sits at the top. Um, and, I mean, I remember... That truly is like an NFL model for college. Yeah, it and, really kind uh, of... And it, with the players getting paid... It really is. What they are, you might as well just... Yeah. You might as well just be... I mean,